Welcome to Senior Centers in Action. I'm your host, Carla Schaefer, and on this month's episode, we'll see how our seniors are expressing their creativity. We'll hear the sound of music from the War of 1812. We'll celebrate a very special birthday. We'll learn about the healing power of pets, and we'll give you information on what you need to do to keep your Medicare coverage up to date. But first, October was not only Disability Awareness Month, it was also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The Pascal Senior Activity Center took a day out of the month to hold an event which featured information activities, a bake sale, and a very special art project. So I'm here with Pat, Ellen, Diane, Darlene, Margaret, Ed, Anne, and Pam <laughs> at the Pascal Breast Cancer Awareness Event. Welcome everyone and thank you for having us at this event today. Thank you for coming, we appreciate it. <laughs> well, to start us off, Diane, can you tell us a little bit about this event and what you have here today? Well, we've been planning this event for about the last four or five months and we have wonderful things going on here. We have breast cancer items for sale, we have a silent auction, we have uh, breast cancer donations to charity, which uh, will be the Ayala charity at the uh, BWMC, Baltimore Washington Medical Center. Uh, we also have decorated bras, <laughs> and we're showing one right here in a contest. Our volunteers did that. We're having a bake sale and a plant sale, a lot of giveaways, a lot of literature, and a lot of good fun. And Diane is the chair this year of the I event. Am. This is her entire committee here. Everyone's wearing their pink in support of the event. And Margaret, I understand that next year you're taking over as the chair of the yes. committee. I was volunteered <laughs> to be the uh, chairman now chairperson, excuse me, next year. So we hope we have a nice turnout today and maybe better next year. And can you tell us a little bit about this item here that's on display? Uh, that's decorated bras by our volunteers. Everybody came up with their own idea and we're gonna have a contest and it can vote on them in the room there. Now this particular bra is our mystery bra. No one will take credit for making it, but it has our pictures on it. And I believe it says Pascal Pearls in the front to honor this day and our committees. And we're lucky to have Pam Jordan here today. She's the director of the Department of Aging and Disabilities. Pam, can you tell us a little bit about what this event means to you? Thank you, Carla. I'm, go ahead and take the microphone. I, I know it's not protocol. Um, this is just a very, very special day. We're kicking off Breast Cancer Awareness Month here at Pascal Senior Center. These ladies and gentlemen have done a fantastic job of bringing awareness to a disease that I think we all know somebody. Unlike any other cancer, I think we all have been touched by this in some way in our families and friends. And I can't think of a better way than what these, these volunteers have done here today to bring awareness to this so that we can stop this disease and, and move forward um, with the right treatments um, for, the, for all of our loved ones. So I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for what you've done today. And thank you all for having us once again. And can I say that I have a sister that is a survivor, so that's partly why I got involved with it. She's four years cancer-free. Yeah. And, and, and I say that I am a survivor. I'm eight and a half years cancer-free when I had a prognosis of less than 45% of being five years. So this, this is important. Very, very much so. <laughs> thank you. In addition to Pascal, the Arnold Senior Activity Center also held a Breast Cancer Awareness Day with various seminars, including tips on hair care and how to apply and blend wigs and hair pieces. And while we're on the topic of health, I sat down recently with Gamin Sharma from the SHIP program to discuss enrollment information for Medicare Part D. We're here at the Pasadena Senior Activity Center with Gammon Sharma. She's the program coordinator of the SHIP program at the Anne Arundel County Department of Aging and Disabilities. And Gammon, I understand that SHIP stands for State Health Insurance Assistance Program. program. Yes. Welcome, Gammon. Thank you. Well, nice to be here. And you're here to talk about it's currently open enrollment until the beginning of December. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that and a little bit about Medicare Part D? Right, Medicare Part D is Medicare Prescription Drug Plan, and currently we're in open enrollment. It began October 15, and it's going to continue until December 7th. 
um, and this is a window of opportunity where people can look into different prescription plans and different advantage plans and are able to switch for the following year of 2014 and this is a good opportunity to do so so we're here to remind people about that and do people have to make a change no, not necessarily. If they, their current plan continues for the following year, then they, uh, they would just be in it, but it's a good practice to do so because the plans change and their needs may have changed. So it's just overall a good practice to be able, to, uh, and this is a good opportunity to do that. And I understand that people can go online to make changes? Yes, they are able to go online on www.medicare.gov to um, be able to do for people who are computer savvy, or they can um, call us, we'll do that, or they can um, call 1-800-MEDICARE to do that. For those who aren't as computer savvy. That's true. <laughs> and now you're going to give a presentation today at the Senior Center, and I understand that SHIP is giving presentations at all of the different uh, senior, senior centers yes, in Anne Arundel that County. Is true. And what's involved in your presentation? Um, we're uh, we're actually reminding people about this uh, open enrollment because it's very easy to forget, and the next year just creeps on you uh, that they should be able to switch. And we're doing presentations at all the senior centers. We have put out um, uh, information in various other places like libraries and stuff. And we did a radio spot, and it's also in our uh, weekly newspaper article to do so. And we're willing to help people who are not computer savvy or who, who just don't know how to look for a plan and are not comfortable doing it themselves. Okay. And uh, for those people out there, what is the deadline for open enrollment? Uh, December 7th. December 7th. 7th. Okay. December 7th of 2013 for the following year. And the new plan, if they switched into one, would be effective. January 1st of 2014. Okay, Gammon, once again, for those viewers out there who are interested in contacting you or other members of the SHIP program, what number should they call? Um, they should call 410-222-4464, extension 3080, to contact the SHIP program in Anne Arundel County Department of Aging. We can either see them with appointments in our office or all the senior centers are available. To, uh, we have volunteers uh, lined up in each senior center for appointments for people. So there are various ways to contact us and actually be able to be seen if they hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for being on Senior Centers in Action today, and we're looking forward to your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. It was nice to be here. Remember, the deadline to enroll is December 7th. To get more information, call 410-222-4464, extension 3080, and to speak with someone from the SHIP program. Well, studies have shown that doing something as simple as stroking a dog or a cat can have a beneficial effect on your health. The PAWS program of Anne Arundel County is doing its part by bringing people and their pets to senior centers to help brighten someone's day. I'm here with Diane DeZambo, who's the program director for PAWS, or People and Animals Who Serve Anne Arundel County. Welcome to Senior Centers in Action, Diane. Thank you, Carla. It's my pleasure to be here. And we're also here with Violet, who's a 15-month-old Sharpay. She's a volunteer with the program as well. And for those out there who are wondering how I know how old Violet is, she's the same age as my daughter. So <laughs> welcome, Violet, as well. Now, Thank you. now, Diane, can you tell us a little bit about what PAWS is and what you do? Yes. PAWS has been around since 1982, and what we do is visit um, people who are in nursing homes, assisted living facilities, hospitals, and other special sites in the county, we find that those residents don't get very many uh, visitors, so we take our animals and, and provide pet therapy to them. Now, what are the qualifications for being a human volunteer or a canine volunteer in the program? We're looking for people who like have um, life experience and who like to share their experiences with other people. Someone who likes to be a friend who's social and outgoing. The dogs need to be the same way. Um, people ask often how you train to be a therapy dog and you can't give a command for a dog to give love. The dog either does or doesn't. They should be well behaved, have some obedience training, um, and up to date on all their shots. Other than that, it's personality. 
But just so people understand better, these are just ordinary dogs. These aren't dogs that are seeing eye dogs or. Absolutely, absolutely, yes, you're right. They are just ordinary dogs who uh, are, allow themselves to be handled by strangers and who are social, who can adapt to the environment of a nursing home or assisted living. And you're here today at the O'Malley Senior Activity Center to brighten up the day of some of the Senior Center visitors? Absolutely, we are doing that and they in return do the very same thing for us. Um, we're always looking for volunteers. Um, if anyone's interested, they can give us a call at 410-222-0738. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Diane. And Violet, it's always nice to see you as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Frank and Karen at the O'Malley Senior Activity Center. They're both volunteers with PAWS, people and animals who serve Anne Arundel County. And I'm also here with Tiger, who is a Whippet Beagle Mix, and Squirt, who is a Minpin Beagle Mix. They're also volunteers in the program. So welcome to Senior Centers in Action, guys. How long have you been volunteering with PAWS? I've been with them for four years. Uh, five years. And what are some of the locations that you visit with PAWS? Well, Squirt goes every Monday to Future Care in, a, in Arnold. That's his primary nursing home. But then we go to different events like this one. They could be anywhere in Anne Arundel County. But Karen could tell you more about that. <laughs> Uh, Tiger originally started visiting at Sunrise in Severna Park. Um, he sort of goes wherever we're needed for the county. So that is um, all the assisted living centers, the nursing homes, the hospitals. Um, and he's all over the place as we are today here. And why did you decide to join the program? Actually, it was by accident. I had a friend who retired and wa I wanted to go visit him. One day I, I happened to have a squirt with me and I didn't know if they would let him in a nursing home, but they did. And I noticed everybody that saw him just went crazy over him. And at, at the time, the wife happened to look in the paper and saw about Paul's and thought it was a good idea to join it. We, we tried it and been doing it ever since. Um, I was in between jobs and I was looking for something to do, so I found the organization and I decided it would be a nice thing to take Tiger and visit people and make their day, and that's what he does. Oh, he certainly looks like he is right here. He's greeting people as we speak, and what's really the best part of PAWS, best part of being involved with PAWS? I know when, the first times that I went over to the nursing home, Future Care is one of those that, that's they're beyond assisted living. You know, they have to have a nurse. And a lot. And I noticed when we take him in, people who looked almost comatose, and they saw the dog and they get the spark on their eye, and people who were, in who were getting physical therapy, who were screaming that they didn't want to do something because it hurt, and the therapist would say, "You can pet the dog," and all of a sudden here they're reaching out their arm, not thinking about the pain, because they want to pet the dog. So. And I knew for myself, he helps me get out of bed every morning. <laughs> um, I love visiting all the people, and Tiger loves visiting everybody. He wants to be everybody's friend. But the best part for me is um, visiting the uh, dementia and the Alzheimer's people. Um, they might have no conversation with anybody, but they certainly connect with Tiger. And it just gives you such a great feeling to know that you've made a difference in somebody's life, even if it is only for a couple minutes or once in a while or, you know. So it, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. Well, it looks like our dogs are anxious to greet more people at the Senior Center, so I will let you two go. But thank you so much to both of you and to both of you as well for donating your time and your energy to the county. Thank, thank you. you. Paws is a wonderful program, and you can just see the faces light up when these little dogs come for a visit. Now, have you ever wanted to express yourself but just couldn't find the right outlet for your creativity? Not everyone can paint or create music, but you may be surprised to find writing may be the outlet for you. We visited the South County Senior Activity Center to speak with Susan Moger, who teaches a creative writing class at the center. I'm here with Susan Moger, who's an instructor at Anne Arundel Community College and also the instructor of the writing courses here at South County Senior Activity Center. Welcome to Senior Centers in Action, Susan. Thank you. 
Now today we had an interesting event. It combined the different students from the writing classes here at the center. Yes, I, I think of it as a writing community. There are two parts to it, autobiography writing and uh, creative writing. Some students take both, so that's really great for me. It's a double, get to hear their stories twice. But we fall in love with each other's stories, and uh, it's really a tight-knit community. Now this is the first time that you've all yes. gotten together at the center to read your works of art. How did you get the idea to do this today? I had it because I was so impressed. I mean, people have been taking the class, some of them for four years, and getting better and better. There's the group, uh, group of students who form, started a website called Wrinklings, and they're really taking their writing to another level, and I thought, this is the time to share it with people here at the center. And they agreed, so that was good. Well, it seemed like people really enjoyed sharing their work, and there was so many different kinds of, of things expressed today through poetry or just people telling their life stories. Yeah, and the poetry is really interesting because we introduced that in creative writing, and people are like, no, no, I never wrote a poem. I don't know anything about poetry. And then we do some exercises, and then they're so into it. And you saw some results today. It was really great. Well, Sharon hinted that perhaps you'll be back in the future to do this yes. again, so we certainly hope so. I think we have a taste of bright lights and uh, definitely enjoyed it today. It was just great. We read our work in class. It's a workshop style class, so everybody's used to reading to each other. And now they have a taste of an audience, so there's nothing like applause. Well, thank you so much for entertaining us today, Susan. Thank you. I'm here with Jean Way at the South County Senior Activity Center, and Jean was part of today's sharing of different stories and poems, all written by South County Senior Activity Center members. So, Jean, um, you're part of a writing class here at, at the Senior Center. Yes, I'm, I'm taking uh, Susan Minder's autobiograph autobiographical writing for seniors here at the Senior Center. And that class meets every week? It meets once a week on Tuesday afternoon. For two hours. And today you read a poem about your dogs, or actually a poem written from your dogs yeah. to you. A letter. A letter. It was a, an imaginary letter. Uh, Susan issues an invitation each week, an invitation to write. And the, the, this was a response to write an imaginary letter to yourself from somebody. And so I thought, well, how imaginative would it be to write from dead dogs? So that's Boy, I, I set them in a biscuit bistro. Now, how did you choose your dogs as the subject of the letter? Well, they were the four dogs we had who had already died. And that's what, who, was, who were writing to me. <laughs> it was silly, but it was imaginative. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your work today and for thank joining you. us. Thank you. It was wonderful. Bye. We look forward to hearing more from our aspiring authors. October 19th was a very special day for one of our Senior Center members. That day was Catherine Edgar's 100th birthday. Catherine is a very active member at the Pasadena Senior Activity Center, which threw a big birthday bash in her honor on October 18th. Delegate Nick Kipke was on hand to present Catherine with a special proclamation, and proclamations also came in from County Executive Laura Newman and President Barack Obama. Catherine enjoyed cake, gifts, dancing, and the music of Frank Sinatra. Baby face, you got the cutest little baby face. There's not another one that will ever take your place. Cause you're my baby face. My poor heart is jumping. You sure have started something new.
fine lady right there. Man. We want to wish Catherine all the best in her 100th year and in the years to come. Well, that wraps up this edition of Senior Centers in Action. If you'd like to find out more information about a senior activity center near you, log on to www.aacounty.org aging for phone numbers and newsletters highlighting the various activities happening each month. And don't forget, you can watch Senior Centers in Action right here every day at noon and 7 p.m. or anytime online. Like us on Facebook at Arundel TV or Anne Arundel County Department of Aging and Disabilities. You can also find us on Google Plus and YouTube by searching Arundel TV. We'll leave you now with the music from the War of 1812 era performed by members of Thirst in Howell, and we'll see you next time. And I would love you all the day. Every night would kiss and play. If with me you fondly stray over the hills and far away, were I sold on Indian soil soon as the burning day was closed, I could mock the sultry toil. When on my charmer's breast repose And I would love you all the day Every night would kiss and play If with me you fondly stray Over the hills and far away Yes, I will love you all the day. Every night we kiss and play. If with me you fondly stray over the hills and